So here's an entertaining post, the type of story that you don't hear every day, which completely backs up why you don't put your D in crazy, guys. And especially you don't get engaged to marry crazy. Titled, uh, Am I wrong for calling off our wedding after my sister-in-law shaved my beard? And he's being literal about shaving his beard. He's not talking about other body parts, you sick mother effers. He says, uh, My fiance, a 25-year-old female, who we will call Lexi, have been a happy couple of six years and are engaged for one, or so I thought. Now, in the first sentence, he says, have been a happy couple for six years. He's 28, she's 25. When I, As I read this, this is going to sound very happy to me. Uh, for uh, uh, I, for context, my fiance's sister, a 32 year female, we'll call her Sally, has always been hostile towards me and would rarely speak to me, and when she did, it would be because her parents were around. Okay, so already there's issues with her family. Her sister, who she's really close to, has an issue with you. That's a problem, guys. Sally is Lexi's rock because she got her through a tough time during college, and since then, Lexi has told Sally everything about everything. In other words, her older sister knows about the size of your you-know-what, how fast it takes you to finish, your favorite positions, all sorts of things. We've had problems with, with this in the past due to her telling Sally personal things about my childhood that I only told a few people. Well, that's inexcusable. You can't be with some girl you don't trust. I wouldn't be with her. Which led to us not speaking for about three months during COVID when she'd only leave our room for food and go to the toilet. This chick during 2020, whenever he was stuck at home during that different periods of time, wouldn't talk to you for three whole months Three whole months, and you're still with her and think you had a great relationship, you want to marry her? She's nuts. And recently, we had we had an argument. We, and recently, we hadn't had an argument in a year until three nights ago when she mentioned that she'd like me to shave my beard. Uh, no. We started getting, we started dating and we're involved when I had the beard. I'm not changing for you, honey. This is what women try to do, guys. They try to change their guy. For context, I have a very thick beard that I've been growing for eight years and I'm very proud of. That's a long freaking beard. Mr. Duck Dynasty here. Or so, of course, I told Lexi I wouldn't be shaving my beard, to which she stormed off to the kitchen and slammed her wine glass into the drink, into the sink, smashing it and a plate in the process. Okay, somebody has some serious anger issues here and is also a spoiled brat. Drama queen behaves like a child. Mr. Duck Dynasty, why aren't you heading out of there? Go for a duck hunt or something, but get away from her. I immediately stood up and asked, what the F is she doing? She then spun around and screamed that I'm a selfish a-hole because I won't shave my beard and ran to our bedroom and slammed the door. Bro, do you realize what your marriage is going to be like to this wacko? Really? She can't be that good in bed. She can't be that pretty. I'm sure you can replace her. I ended up sleeping on the couch and woke up around 4 o'clock in the morning to Sally, her sister, with a razor trying to shave my beard. Holy freaking... You wake up in the middle of the night, guys, and somebody has a razor to your freaking face, to your neck. What would your first instinct be? I can think of a few Krav Maga moves I'd be doing at that point on said person. This is nuts. So I pushed her off me. Lexi then ran to check on Sally whilst I was looking at the big patch Sally had taken out of my beard. Then I went upstairs and packed the bag whilst Lexi shouted me for hurting Sally. I woke up to the bitch freaking with a freaking razor blade in my freaking neck here, shaving me my beard, and you and I instinctively shoved her off me as anybody would, and you're yelled at me because I hurt Sally. Oh, okay, that's assault. I told f off, and the wedding was off, and walked out of the house and drove an hour to my parents' house, where I've been staying since the incident. Early today, I got a text from Sally saying I was a sel- I was selfish for not shaving my beard because when I go down on Lexi, it feels weird. <laughs> um, clearly, she's been stuck with you for six years. She's lucky that you're even going down on her. But six years hasn't been a problem. <clears throat> and I haven't replied to her. My family thinks I should break up the relationship, but her family said I should just shave it all off and move on. So what should I do? Am I am I in the wrong here? Smack! Are you actually asking that question? You, are you in the wrong here? This girl's nuts. Her sister's nuts. This is going to be your life unless this dude enjoys drama. 
unless this dude enjoys constant turmoil, he needs to end it with her and move the hell on. He was instinctively right for her. I'd shove her off too if I woke up with some girl trying to shave my beard. And I got a short beard. I don't got one looking like ZZ Top like this guy here. No. No, 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 no. He did the right thing. He needs to somehow get his belongings and get out of Dodge. He's already out of Dodge, but sent somebody from his Duck Dynasty friendship group to go get the rest of his stuff. Now some little updates here as to what's going on to back up my point about keeping your D out of crazy. He says, uh, these are all little edits here. He says, uh, I don't know how many will see this, see this other post, so I put it here as well in a different section. I've now got, I'm now typing, I've got 99 texts and missed calls from Lexi saying things like, don't leave, less of SEX one more time, and I'm pregnant. I think she's trying to baby trap me. 99 texts and calls is a lot of calls and texts and saying things, let's have SEX one more time. Now she's pregnant. And he, she's nuts. She's losing it. Edit number two. Lexi messaged me weird things like, miss me and I'll take the baby too. Sally then messaged me saying Lexi's in the hospital for being treated after a offing herself attempt. I don't believe it at all. I blocked Sally's number as well. Oh, now she's in the hospital trying to off herself because you lie. What I tell you about crazy? Yeah, block these wackos. Edit number three. I called the police and showed evidence of her uh, offing herself messages, so hopefully she'll be getting checked into an institution. She belongs in an institution. Edit number four. Lexi's aunt, who is the only person on her side that agrees with me, just called me to tell me that Lexi has been, wait for it, checked into a psychiatric unit for two weeks. <laughs> so these little updates here, edits as he calls them, have been coming over time. I'll keep you all updated if anything happens, but I should be okay for now. Uh, she's where she belongs. This chick needs help. And number five, I just want to say thank you for your overwhelming amounts of support. I filed a police report on Sally for assault, and I'm in the process of canceling the wedding venue. Good. He's obviously not going to get some of his deposits back, but uh, regardless, get any money you can get. Yeah, I, I got no problem with him filing a police report on Sally for what she did. Absolutely. Now, it may require... You know, a witness, which is going to be crazy Lexi in the mental institution, so good luck there, but regardless. Now this guy's got to, he has to obviously trim his beard and adjust it to make everything look normal. And last one, I'm back at the house and I've had a locksmith change the locks just in case. The wedding venue can't be refunded, but it's going to be paid by her parents anyway, so I don't care. I've also contacted my lawyers. Good. Anything you need, there may be any legal issues with this wacko girl. Fine, get the advice of a lawyer because this girl's nuts. Change your locks, make sure all your doors are secure along with the locks. I guess some surveillance equipment in there. Contact AD, ADP or ADT, whatever the, the security system is called. <clears throat> Have them installed and watch your back. That's all I can say because these chicks are mental and she's going to get out because this girl's going to put on the waterworks at the, the loony bin and then she'll be out. So there you go, guys. It's a uh, a different type of video here, but again, keeping your D out of crazy. Now, a few comments, and I'm done. One guy says, mate, you need to reread what you wrote out. Your fiance is unhinged, and her sister is a C-U-N-T. Getting so angry about a beer that she smashed a plate in glass. She and her sister decide your boundaries are irrelevant, even the fact that she can't keep anything you say to her from her to herself. This is not someone you want to spend your life with. Best thing one can do now is to trim your beard to hopefully it evens it out and let it grow again. It can serve as a reminder of this incident. Yeah, his beard is his superpower. It's like Samson in the Bible, I believe, you know, and the, and the chick tricked him to admitting that in the Bible, I believe Samson, his long hair was the, 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 the his source of strength, and God told him, don't ever cut your hair. And he got seduced, I think, by the chick. I think it was Delilah. I, I'm a little hazy on my, my Bible readings here. And uh, she seduced him and got him to admit that that was his power, cut his hair, and the enemy kidnapped him, and, you know, you know the rest. So, yeah, his beard is a superpower. Don't, don't ever, ever cut it or let any gal near your beard. One more. The religious folks can correct me if I'm wrong in the story here. It's been a long time since I've been to Sunday school. Young man has a much older lady. This is from a woman. I can tell you with complete certainty that both of these women are not right in the head. You think? No one does something like that to another person, period. 
you may, you, my dear, have dodged at one huge ass bullet. That's not normal behavior in any of these scenarios you describe. Drama and self deluded behavior by both just showed you what your future would be if you marry this gal and her scary ass sister. They're obviously a package deal. Oh, did I mention? Run. Yeah. And she says, P.S. Remember, remember, never stick your packaging crazy. This is from a woman. You even got a bonus crazy check this time. You did the right thing. You will look back in 20 years from this and say, what the fuck was I thinking? Now run faster and further away from the Psycho Sisters. Get the ring back, too. There is no way on God's green earth is he ever getting that ring back from her. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. But anyhow, there you go. He's got a story for the grandsons one day. <laughs> you know, when they're out, you know, hunting or something like that. So I wish this guy the best. But guys, I don't care how hot she is. I don't care how big her boobs are. How amazing she is at, with her mouth in bed. What she promises you. And I get it. The crazy girls do definitely take it up many notches in the sack. It ain't worth it because you're dealing with a whole lot of BS. Otherwise, remember that.